In this video, I will talk about writing a code for 8051 and embedded C language in Keel software. Open Keel. In Keel, uh, first we will create a project, a micro region project. Uh, because Keel creates many additional files, so we want to keep all those files into the same folder. So first we will create a new folder uh, at the designated location where we want to create our project. So I am just uh, creating a project on the desktop by the name test and then the project name test. So it <coughs> then it will ask for the microcontroller uh, on which you are writing a program. Like I have selected 89C51 and OK. And then so it has created a project by the name. Now we will create a script file for writing our C program. So before continuing to the writing our C program, first we need to save this file. We will save this file by the uh, acronym .c. So uh, it will let the kill understand that this file is going to be written in the C format and then save. And uh, now we will add this file to our current project and then add file, then C and then add and close. So now the C file, C source file has been added to the project. Now we will write a C program here, a demo, a demo C program here. So first we need to write the include library. So for writing a 8051 microcontroller, reg51.h is the header file which we are going to use or which kill user for compiling the C program. And now the void main and then simply the port 0 like on port 0 we want to transfer the data 0 at AA so the beauty of the C program is that we don't uh, need to specify whether we are from moving uh, our data from accumulator from one register to another register uh, just uh, do any designated task you want to do like uh, within uh, this single command 0 at AA will be transferred to the port 0. So uh, before compiling it, uh, our primary aim is to generate the hex file out of it. So we will go into the options for target 1, then in the output and then check this box, create hex file and then ok. So now uh, when we will compile uh, this, pro uh, this C program, it will generate a hex code for the target hardware. Now then in project, build target. So if everything is fine, then you will get zero error and zero error. Now we want to uh, try run it, like debug it, uh, how it is going to perform on the hardware. So for doing that, we go to the debug section and then start the stop debugging here. Okay. Uh, we want to also check the uh, content of the port zero as well. So we'll go to the peripheral and then input output port. Because 8051 has 4 ports, so 4 ports are being displayed here, displayed here as port 0, port 1, port 2 and port 3. We want to see our port 0 data. So initially it is, everything is 1 now. Now we want to run it, we will click on it, step over, step over. So this command has been executed and then corresponding AA 10101010 in binary which corresponds to AA in hexadecimal uh, code has been transferred to the port 0. So in C program uh, you can check here neither the content of the accumulator has been changed nor any content of the register because everything is going behind the scene, everything uh, happening behind, uh, behind the scene and we don't need to bother about all these things while we are doing a program into the C language. So that's it for this video, thank you.